Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and six months ago from today, I was sitting in this chair and I was feeling like shit about myself. And I decided to take matters into my own hands, finally get off my lazy ass and go to Orange Theory. And I ended up signing up for the class and I've been doing it for six months now. So I wanted to do a video kind of just like answering all your questions about Orange Theory and also talking about the investments of Orange Theory as well as some of the issues that I overcame during my Orange Theory journey. So let's get into it. So for anyone who doesn't know what Orange Theory Fitness is, it's pretty much all over the country. I don't know if it's all over the world, but definitely all over the country. It is a one hour workout and you can either start on the treadmill or the rower. And most of the classes will have like half a treadmill workout and then um, a floor workout, which is like weights and then the rower combined. The best thing about these classes, obviously, is that you have a coach and they tell you exactly what you need to be doing. And if you have knee problems and you can't do a certain workout on the floor, they will give you an optional workout. So it's nice because it's really not intimidating talking to them because obviously they're there to help you. So I will be honest, I haven't tried too many workout classes, so I can't really compare that many. I've tried Pure Bar and that kicked my ass, but this was when I was like, in high school and I hated working out which I still do but you know I like literally would not go I would refuse to go um, and then I tried cycling but I'm pretty sure I tried it at my college gym um, so it wasn't like a, the real thing like soul cycle or anything like that but other than that I haven't really like worked out um, I did cheerleading in high school but we didn't even condition it that often because I was mainly sideline cheer and so yeah I have been pretty lazy all my life. I hate working out. But if you watched the video that I filmed six months ago in this chair, then you would know why I decided to like just kind of bite the bullet and start working out and just bettering my body and my health. The thing that makes Orange Theory stand out to me is that you buy a heart rate monitor and you can actually see your progress through the class. So at the end of the class, you see your stats and basically you see this chart and it goes from red, orange, green, blue, and then gray. So don't quote me on this because I don't really know, but you could probably easily Google it. So the orange and red is like when you feel like you're about to die <laughs> when you're working out. Well, mainly the red. Um, the orange is like, okay, you're challenging yourself. You're doing, you know, good, but like keep pushing. Um, and then the green is like, like you're just chilling. You're maybe like walking on the treadmill. You don't really feel your heart like beating out of your chest. The blue is probably the time like that you just start your workout, you're just getting into it kind of a thing. And then the gray, I don't know what the gray is, I guess like just like when your heart rate is just not in all the other categories. So um, the orange and red, if you get a minute in the orange, you get a splat point. If you get a minute in the red, you get a splat point. So that is another part of your stats is the amount of splat points you get. And you're supposed to get at least 12 splat points per class of Orange Theory. And I always get almost double or more. I honestly don't even know if like getting more is like better or, you know, doesn't even affect it, but you definitely need 12 splat points. So you pretty much get all your splat points on the treadmill. Um, at least for me, some people don't, but that's how it goes for me. So during your workout, you'll see this big screen. I'm pretty sure they call it an OT beat screen, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you will see all of your stats um, up there. And if you have a heart rate monitor, um, your name will be in a box. And then that box will either be red, orange, green, blue, or gray. So it's kind of cool. You can see like where your heart rate is. And if you need to push yourself harder, if you need to like dial it down a little bit and it's really helpful for me because sometimes I'm in the orange and I feel like I'm about to die but then I'm like okay no I can get in the red and I should be in the red um, so I'm gonna push myself a little bit more I really really like to see those results and sometimes my heart rate monitor like I don't know glitches and like goes to gray for like a long period of the workout and it makes me so frustrated because I just I want to leave because I'm like, okay, well, if I'm not seeing my results, like what's the point? But I mean, I know that's a bad mentality. Okay, so that's pretty much the stats of Orange Theory. I hope I explained that 
well enough, but like I said, you can easily Google it if I didn't. Another thing that I really like about Orange Theory is you can go at your own pace. So I started off as a power walker, that's what they call it, it's power walker, jogger, and then runner. I started off as a power walker and I went like three miles per hour, I'm pretty sure. The coaches encouraged me, not pushed me, but encouraged me to just kind of like increase it a little bit every single time. And now I am a jogger, I think. Well, kind of, I mostly jog, but sometimes when I like really get out of breath, I just have to power walk. But I feel like that's like any normal human. <laughs> Even though you can go at your own pace, it is kind of like nice to be in a room with all these other fit people because you kind of just want to get up to their level. So you push yourself a little harder. Um, I remember this one time there was this like you know, older woman going faster than me. And I was just like, okay, no, I'm literally like 23 years old. I can do this. So I sped up my treadmill a little bit and pushed myself. And obviously people aren't actually competitive to your face, but it's just like that internal push for yourself. So now I want to talk about the investments that I made for Orange Theory. Um, the class itself is a big investment. It is, uh, I want to say I pay 140 a month. Um, it could be 150, but I know that I got it at a really good rate. I can't remember why. I think they were having like some type of like sale or something. Um, but I would definitely recommend trying to get it when they have like a good deal and they have like different deals every single month. So maybe just wait it out a couple more weeks if they have a better deal. Um, but I'm pretty sure it can go all the way up to like 170 per month. Let's say I'm paying 140 a month. I usually go three times per week. So divide that by 12 and that is pretty much almost $12 per class. So that's not horrible if you're going three times per week. Um, and I also do have the unlimited. So I think the one below my plan is eight classes per month. And I think that might be like $100. So yes, Orange Theory is a big investment, but I'm really, really glad I did it and I am doing it. The next investment is the heart rate monitor. So this is kind of just like a band, like an Apple watch, but I actually wear mine up here. Um, I used to wear it down here, but it just like did not work well. So I'm wearing it up here now and that costed me, I think I want to say like a hundred something dollars. Um, and I think there was a cheaper one that you could wear like around your chest, but I feel like that would be like annoying to wear when you're working out. So I went ahead and invested in the armband just cause I feel like that would feel more comfortable. And now I think in February, if I'm not mistaken, they're rolling out the Apple Watch app for Orange Theory. So I think you can now use your Apple Watch as a heart rate monitor. So if you already have an Apple Watch, I don't think you need to buy a heart rate monitor because it's hopefully going to uh, connect with their screens. There's honestly a good amount of people that don't buy the heart rate monitor and just use their Apple Watch. But like I said, for me, it is just so rewarding seeing the colors change and your stats up on the screen. So I really recommend buying the heart rate monitor. Um, I know it's an investment up front, but like if you're gonna do it for a really long time, then it's definitely well worth it. The next investment I had to make was new running shoes. I had black ultra boosts. I think I got these like sophomore year of college. So maybe like three years ago, two years ago. Um, and they just like weren't doing it for me. And apparently they're like really good workout shoes, but I don't know. I had just had really, really freaking bad shin splints and like knee problems and all that shit. And they were just not doing it for me. So um, my coach recommended I get new shoes. So I went and picked up some Mizunos and those were like around a hundred something dollars, maybe 130 or something. Um, but yeah, there's another investment. <laughs> and obviously not everyone has to buy new shoes, but I definitely thought this investment was so worth it because I've never had running shoes before. And literally half the class of Orange Theory is running. Um, and I had really, really bad shin splints. Once I got my shoes, I, still had a bit of shin splints but they kind of like went away after some time now with my running shoes i don't get shin splints pretty much at all i mean i can feel that my shins are kind of like sore after but it's not like while i'm running it just hurts so bad when i didn't have them so i'm very glad i bought those this next investment is also optional but you can also buy some new workout clothes i've definitely noticed that wearing tighter clothes to orange theory makes me 
want to like do better because there are mirrors in the room. So if you look at yourself, you're like, okay, like I need to just do this for myself. And if you're wearing baggy clothes, I feel like it just doesn't really give you that much motivation. But if you don't want to spend crazy amounts of money, my biggest tip is going to a thrift store and looking at their workout section because some people throw away like Lululemon stuff and really good brands. I know I found my favorite Lululemon top and I have like two really, really good Nike tops that I got from thrift store. And they're like $8 at a thrift store. It is insane how much the prices are so much cheaper there. So I definitely recommend, I mean, some people think it's gross, but just wash the clothes. It's it's fine. It's like borrowing from your sister, you know? So that was my ramble on Orange Theory. And now we're going to get into some questions you guys asked me on my Instagram. And if you guys want to follow me to see just more updates on Orange Theory, I post on my stories a lot. Um, you can follow me here. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. So let's get into it. The first question is, is it worth the money? And I would definitely say yes, it is. Um, I work from home, so I really like that it's something that gets me out of bed and just um, gets me going for the morning. Um, I do go three times per week, like I said, so I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I feel like sometimes I could go like one more day a week, but it's just nice to have the breaks so that like I don't have to like wash my hair that day or I could put on makeup that day and like have the whole day to like work and do stuff um, because usually I go at like 8 45 and by the time I shower it's like almost noon. I will be honest my mom did offer to pay for the first two months of Orange Theory for me um, because she just wanted me to like get off my ass and just start working out kind of push me in the direction of a healthy lifestyle and I'm really thankful for that because honestly I don't think I would have started paying for it on my own or I wouldn't have signed up if I was paying for it on my own at first i guess but now that i see the benefits i think it's so worth it and that is why i'm paying it for it on my own now um so yes it is worth the money the next question is how do you stay motivated and i think if you watched my video that i posted six months ago i will have a link down below you would understand why i got motivated in the first place, but now I stay motivated by seeing my own progress. I take progress pictures and I also weigh myself pretty much after every Orange Theory class. And I definitely like to look at my progress every two weeks or so. Um, another way is I am always on Instagram. So I save some of the pictures that maybe if people are wearing like cute bikinis or if they're wearing like a cute crop top, I'll save that to my boards on Instagram. And some people think that like Instagram is negative, but I see it as a motivation. Like I want to look like that. I want to dress like that. And I want to be able to wear that and look really great. I'm getting a lot of questions about what I eat in a day and my diet. And I will say this is my biggest weakness and I just something in me is just like I cannot change it for the life of me um, and I know it's a lifestyle change so I think that's why I haven't been able to do it um, as you guys know if you guys watch my videos I live with my boyfriend Ryan and our eating habits just are not the greatest I will say that firsthand I have a huge sweet tooth and not that I eat fast food that often, but I like to eat good food and sometimes it's not the healthiest. Um, and I think the biggest thing for me, and I think that's the reason why I haven't really lost that much weight is because I eat such big portions because when I'm cooking for me and Ryan, Ryan is like a bigger boy. So he needs more food to like make him full. And sometimes I eat the same amount as him because I see that his plate's bigger. So like, I want some more. And that's just like where I fall into this big black hole. Um, and so I'm definitely going to be working on my diet this year. 2020 is the year of healthy lifestyle, hopefully. <laughs> At least I'm feeling better going into 2020 um, that I'm actually working out. And that's like a more realistic goal. Working out three times per week, I can do that because I have been doing that. But I just don't even know where to start with like the healthy eating. Um, so if you guys have any tips on just healthy eating in general, please leave them down below, like your favorite recipes. If you guys want to Insta DM me them, I would be so grateful. The next question is, what is the hardest part? I will say two things. So my shin splints being one of them because I just got so frustrated with myself because I felt like I could run, like I had the stamina to run, but they just hurt so bad. So I had to power walk and it just like made me feel so discouraged at first I'll say, because everyone else is pretty much running around me and I wanted to run, but it just hurt so freaking bad. So that was definitely the hardest part. 
um, but I'm so glad I'm past that and I'm so glad that I'm able to run now. The second thing is just booking the classes because I always book them in the morning just in case like something happens in the morning and you know I can't go <laughs> or I just don't feel like it um but that pretty much is always like a feeling that I just like don't want to go or I always think of like an excuse like oh but I can get so much work done in the time that I go to Orange Theory take the class come back shower I always just try to make excuses up for myself. So I think just like booking the class is like the hardest part because once you book the class, if you cancel, I think they charge you. So like, I don't ever want to cancel when, when I book the class. Um, so yeah, that's definitely the hardest part is in the mornings when I just don't want to go. <laughs> Next question is, has your energy increased? And I'm going to say no, because whenever I go to Orange Theory, I am like feeling fatigued throughout the whole day. At least like yesterday was probably one of the hardest freaking Orange Theory classes ever. I felt like I just wanted to sleep the whole rest of the day and that's actually really bad because I do work from home and sometimes I do work from the couch. So then I get really, really sleepy. Um, so that's definitely an issue I'm trying to combat. I really don't think like my energy increased. I don't know, I guess it's hard to tell. Someone asked how much weight have I lost? Um, I think I was like, one, I want to say the heaviest I was 175 and right now I'm like fluctuating between like 170. But after the holidays, I gained a couple pounds back, which was so annoying. But um, yeah, so I would say like a good like five pounds, um, but I'm still fluctuating and I'm still grinding and I'm still going. So hopefully more. <laughs> Somebody asked me who my favorite fitness influencers are and I actually have none. I don't think I follow any um so if you guys want to leave any motivational accounts down below for Instagram that would help me out so much and probably help out all these people that are gonna watch this video especially accounts that have like healthy food um I don't really know if I want to watch like workout videos because I do orange theory and I don't really work out on my own um but yeah I don't I don't know if I have any favorite fitness influencers, but check the comments down below. Hopefully people can share. The next question is, do you think you'll supplement and go to a regular gym in addition to Orange Theory? I don't think so <laughs> because I just, for some reason, my personality just needs someone in my ear telling me what to do, um, especially just like working out. I have never really known what to do in the gym and like my boyfriend he did wrestling and football so like he knows what to do in the gym so it's nice when he goes to the gym with me but the thing is like he likes to go at night especially because he works a nine to five and I like to go in the morning because if I don't go in the morning it's not happening at all <laughs> so I could definitely have him like help me out at the gym and like train me but I just like cannot go at night something about it it's just like Done. Like I want to enjoy my night on the couch, you know, I don't know if I'll be doing orange theory forever Especially because it is like a good chunk of money every month But maybe as I take these classes I can take like a couple like Workouts and like weight routines um, And then go to the gym and do it myself I don't know but I don't think I have like the motivation in my heart to like just do it all by myself And not have someone like telling me what to do if that makes sense The last question is do you feel your outfits fitting better and you feeling more confident? I a hundred thousand percent do um, I have these one pair of jeans that definitely didn't fit before and now they fit and they're pretty comfortable I think I definitely have like a good ways to go but it's definitely progress and I'm proud of myself for doing it for this long because I really thought I would quit after like a month or so. So that is it of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing more about my Orange Theory journey and just learning about Orange Theory if you guys didn't know what it was. Um, if you guys want to see that video that I was talking about that I filmed six months ago sitting right here, I will have that link down below. It's a very emotional and vulnerable video. so. Just a heads up, I'm very emotional in it. But also if you guys have any other questions, you can DM me or comment them on this video and hopefully people in the OTF community can answer and help me out too. Um, so I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.